past several days, probably a few weeks, I have made several videos on the Flat Earth. I have explained that the globe Earth is a lie perpetrated by NASA. And that, in fact, Earth is a sort of disk rocketing up through space at 32 feet per second per second. causing a pseudo-gravity. And I have offered many proofs for this, such as the lack of any sort of feeling of movement, the fact that things do not appear to move, the lack of a curve, etc. I was noticed by Simon Dan, and I responded to him. My channel has grown because of that, and I thank him. I have received many, many comments. My videos have gotten many dislikes, but also many views and much watch time. And I have been accused of drug addiction and glue sniffing and ignorance. I have been insulted. I don't care. One thing that has been consistent is that people have said my views are unscientific, that I'm uneducated. Recently, I engaged in a comment debate, and I insisted that Galileo, sorry, that Columbus invented the myth of the globe Earth, and then that Galileo founded an organization that eventually became NASA. Oh, I wasn't meaning that Galileo actually founded NASA, but rather that he founded an underground secret organization that controlled the world. And that this eventually became NASA. But I want... Well, first, thank you to everyone who has watched my videos and commented on them, and thank you to Simon Dan for giving me the opportunity. But now I want to recant all that I have said. I want to apologize. Earth is not flat. It was foolish of me to ever think that it was. Earth is a sphere, or ob oblate spheroid. Everything I have said is ridiculous. Things do not move when they fall because well, actually, they do very slightly move, but it is so slight, you can't see it, and it's probably offset by slight vibrations in the air anyway. Because of friction, that the atmosphere is moving with the Earth, and therefore friction stops things from noticeably moving, and it's a small scale anyway. But we do observe in the... Coriolis effect that things do, that the rotation of the Earth does in fact affect apparent movement and, and this is a major factor in wind and it must be accounted for by planes and such. So yes, Earth is not flat. And I'm sorry. I am now fully and wholeheartedly convinced that the flat Earth is a lie. Nonsense propagated by the government in subliminal messages. They have seeded chemicals in the water and in chemtrails to make us think that Earth is flat, but only a small part of the population. So as to make everyone laugh at flat earthers, anyone who questions the narrative, to make them look like conspiracy theorists, in order to detract from the true nature of the earth, that it is hollow. Okay, this song is entitled, Calvinists Are Not Saved. Here goes. <laughs> 